This is uh, Morten from Inkis TV, third day here at iGas in Tokyo, and it's been a wonderful trade show. A lot of attendees and a lot of things. As I said, this is our last day, but for the rest of the people that wants to really enjoy the show, uh, they have a few more days. The show ends on Monday, but we're going back for the non-event in Copenhagen. Right now, I'm in front of the big site, Tokyo big site, which is the exhibition center here with Stuart Fox from Kongsberg. Stuart, great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you, Morten. Stuart, um, what do you think of Japan? Japan's amazing. Japan's amazing. I think culturally, I think from a technology point of view, um, and importantly, I mean, I come here, of course, for the exhibition. We have a fantastic distributor in Japan, but actually the final days I will go to customers because customers do things slightly differently in Japan. They have different quality standards, different production techniques, and also requirements. And it's important for us to actually connect with them and see what's going on, right? It's funny because uh, in some of our previous conversations, we talked about how how the equipment is utilized and how the technology is developed a little bit different from, from is that basically what you're trying to have? Yeah, proof yeah, of that's right. yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, you can build a great piece of technology, but if it's not usable in Sao Paulo, in Tokyo, in London, what good is it, right? So we really want to actually see what people do differently in different countries, different materials, different quality standards. So it's important that actually, you know, I think there's an old military term, ground truths. Right, go into the go into the territory and see what goes on in the factories. Mm. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, I've been in Japan many times as you have, and when you come here and see how much print is everywhere here. Oh yeah, it is. It is, and business cards. That's the first thing. You know, you give away 50 business cards a day, right? It's a, it's become a, a bit of a, a pastiche, right, in Europe. But here, everybody is still very formal. Uh, brochures everywhere. I think it's fantastic. I mean, you know, print is my life. Yeah. So great to see it in such kind of a. Uh, uh, health here. Yeah, I actually read uh, that uh, there's about 24,000 commercial printing. Uh, I know that you're not in commercial print, but uh, about 24,000 printing companies. And even in commercial, uh, yes. there's still a growth in yes. Japan, yeah. which is like if you look at the rest of the world, commercial is going down and you are in the good hotspot with signage and large forward, Yes, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, we still have some commercial customers, but it's healthy here. You know, you have the traditional press manufacturers have a presence here alongside digital press man manufacturers, along flow workflow suppliers as well. So it's really a mix here. Um, but I, I mean, I came originally from a commercial print background, so I like to see it's healthy still here. Uh, and whether it's a menu in a restaurant or a business card being handed out, uh, I like to see commercial print thriving. Every time I talk to you, I always get uh, a little bit intrigued because it seems that what you do from Kongsberg and ABC, it seems that you are really, I mean, you have the right products at the right time and you seem to be in a very nice hotspot. Is that also how you see your position here in Japan? Yeah, I mean, I think we've been present in Japan for around 25 years, um, but we don't like to rest on our laurels. You can get it wrong. So it's important that as soon as, you know, as soon as the first trade show, we can come back. But don't just come for the exhibition and the sushi, come and visit some customers, packaging, display customers, because I think you can become very complacent about it. And it's important for our development that we really, and the world is a really a, a small place now. So we need to make sure that our products are fit today, tomorrow, and for future years. And the good food is just an extra perk, right? Right, fantastic. And the service, the mm. quality of everything here, mm. it's fantastic. Mm. The cleanliness, yeah. I love it. Yeah, uh, It is actually amazing. Uh, my team and I have been talking about that, uh, that it is actually amazing. I think that is what strikes you the most when you come as a foreigner here, is that uh, the, the politeness from the people and, and the cleanliness and, and, the, and, and the sense for details. And I was just thinking that also for a company like Kongsberg, you have a nice visuals to your, to to your new uh, design line. Uh, the, the products are really into being like precise. Yes. I mean, you have the precision cutting as part of the Correct. name. It must be quite interesting to see because that is uh, probably also pushes the compet competition, competition a little bit, right? It does. And I think what's, uh, to talk to that exactly, you know, the, the Japanese like high quality print, high quality finishing. They want that precision in there. And whereas you'd think that Kongsberg being a European brand would be at a disadvantage of a Japanese brand. But in fact, because we are high quality, the products last for 15, 20 years, these, these all touch points that are really important to a Japanese um, business owner. Mm. Um, you told me that today you have a day off. Are you going back to the show or is it customers from now on? No, so it's, it's day off. I, I have a first customer, I'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, first customer we're going to see on Monday morning and then back to the show and then another customer on Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon. So uh, yeah, I mean, 
I'm trying to mix up as many as many visits and and obviously spending time here at the show of with course. our with our distributor. Of course, I actually have one question I forgot to ask you because one of the things I have noticed when I've been watching some of the Japanese vendors that are, I haven't seen internationally here, right? There seems, of course, in Japan to be a very very strong focus on footprint of the technology. Yes, is that also something that you you hear and see or? No, it is. It is because. Um, I think compared to say that the other end of the scale is the US. They have, where lots they have of space. space. Yeah. Here, they have a demand for automation, but no space for it. So that's a very difficult ask. So even a robot takes up space. You see lots of robotics here, um, this, this show. Um, but feeders and stackers, they want them, but they don't have the space for it. So, and they have very specific requirements in terms of um, um, the performance of the machine. But then again, especially in Tokyo, I mean, you don't have the room to have an extra 50 square meters to have automation. It's impossible. The, the, so, um, but that's part of us coming because there's also flexible media as well. You know, a roll feeder doesn't take up so much uh, space. No, true, yeah. But those are the conversations we have with the customers to find out exactly how much pressure they're feeling on the productivity of their equipment. You know, they have an ROI that they need to deliver performance to the customer. So having those conversations is critical for our understanding. And it doesn't mean that if they have a request, we can answer it immediately tomorrow. Of course not. But it, yeah. it helps guide the path yeah. of development for us. Yeah, and I mean, one thing that you can't uh, do anything about is that if you have a, a, a board this size, I mean, it yeah. at least needs that size for yeah. being caught Correct. anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So all you can do is make it so easy to set the machine up and so quick to make it run. That's yeah. the best that you can do for them. Yeah. But um, I think that's... That those conversations again, I can't stress it enough. Those conversations are so important for us. Mm. And um, we are, uh, are you having fiscal years uh, end of uh, the calendar? end of the end of the calendar year? Okay. Yes. And uh, is uh, things progressing as you expect? Yes, they are. Fingers crossed. I mean, we've still got three weeks to go. I mean, this is the important part of the year for many companies. Um, that December is the big month. So fingers crossed, everything's going well, and we're on to, we're on target. So. You know, we're looking forward to a good finish to the year. And this is the first full fiscal year as Kongsberg, This is right? the full first full fiscal year, yeah. correct, and correct. Uh, and uh, as we've been talking about so many times, it's been a, some kind of a journey, right? Yeah, it's a journey. And I think um, we've spoken before, if I had my time again, I would do it again. That's as hard as it's been, yeah. you know, uh, I always uh, I have a little saying, right? Sometimes get, climbing the mountain isn't about the view at the top, it's the climb. And this has definitely been the climb, but it's been great. And, and having a fantastic team, right? That's, it's not me, it's the team that makes it happen. Fantastic story. Morton, a pleasure. Nice Always. to see you again. You Thank too. you. Thank you.